it starts to then, at least in that particular part, kind of raise the flag, like, so what's the difference? Unless we're going to say there's some innate biological reason why African Americans want to fight more, which we know that is true, there's got to be some other reason. Um, we talk about things like the academy, which is a great idea, and I'm glad that it seems like it's working, but it, it doesn't seem to be hitting the numbers in general, but it's still a positive thing in the fact that there's interest in trying to expand it, that there's ever a way to try and help with the transportation, if that's one of the challenges. Basically, that would be great if we could find a way to do that. Um, but it does then strike me as like, okay, so what else is going on? If we kind of had the same kids who had the same experiences, what happens there? Um, not that you're necessarily seeing a cause, but it, to me, is a trigger in terms of what's the difference? Is it um, is it some a difference in expectation? Is it a difference in uh, role models? I don't know what it is, but it does seem like it's still kind of a play, and it's concerning. Me. And again, I'm more concerned now hearing that it's that experience that we've kind of had all along, as opposed to the bad rumor we used to always hear. I thought I would offer on that is um, I think that the, the start to the answer to your question lies in the fact that whoever those children are that, uh, that you just mentioned, we have not yet been able to attack and, and get them to change their belief system um, to the, you know, the more appropriate one that's aligned with the expectations of this world and society. And the reason I, I have that thought is because of, while you're talking, Ben was 